Put it this way, if someone told me a year ago that I would be going out to a leisure centre to take my son swimming and to do swim several lengths as well, I wouldn't have believed them. I wouldn't have even believed myself. Yeah, this hasn't come to being because I've been telling myself I'll be able to do it. It has just naturally occurred. Yeah. Um... I mean, I'm not going to lie, I was really anxious when the pandemic happened and um, we were just all really lucky to have had it mildly and for two whole years none of us got it even though I've got a kid. No one in his class even got it for two whole years and then all of a sudden it was like whoosh, we all got it but it was like a bad cold. Or for me, it wasn't even like a bad cold. It was like a mild cold. It was so weird. And yet I'd been so worried. Um, there needs to be more stories, you know, of people saying it's not that bad. Because, I mean, if you haven't got... I mean, obviously, if you've got no immune immunity, then <laughs> it's not good. But, like, if you'd had chemotherapy or something... But other than that, I just, I mean, I thought I was like a high risk, but I guess I wasn't. But I'd had something pretty awful at the beginning. At the very beginning, before anyone knew much or had any tests, me and my brother had something pretty nasty. We were both in bed, wiped out, feeling really shit. Um... <laughs> But I can only think that if it, because we definitely had it in the family recently. And although I tested negative, I'm pretty sure I had it because I had similar symptoms to my friend who also had it around the same time. It's just too much of a coincidence for it not to have been it. So, okay, I had the jabs. But I, I also take herbs and lots of vitamins. <laughs> it's crazy the amount of stuff I take. But... I do believe that they help and um, I take cat's claw which is a herb that is antiviral and I actually looked it up on the internet and it said it does work in um, helping fight Covid so for anyone that might have long Covid um, cat's claw could be very helpful but it's also very helpful for for people with ME, yeah, CFS, which now they are saying basically long COVID is like is like ME, CFS, yeah, which was my original diagnosis until I found out about the hypothyroidism and before that I found out about the POTS. <laughs> I never ever thought I had SIBO because I thought I thought I had to have different symptoms to be having it, but then I found out it was that all along and I've got to do another test for SIBO like in a few weeks after I've stopped the biocidin which is an antimicrobial um, I keep having to set all these reminders on my phone to, rem to remember to take like everything literally everything because it's just so overwhelming to remember to take uh, as much stuff as I do and sometimes I'm a bit forgetful which is a symptom of hypothyroidism but I, th I think anyone might might um, find it tough remembering uh, how much stuff to take if they knew how much I was taking so I take like B vitamins and vitamin D and one thing I've been forgetting lately actually is um, fish oil um, there's probably something else I'm forgetting, but I've forgotten. <laughs> but I intend to remember, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm setting that intention right now. I intend to remember to take everything I need to take so that I get well, better, faster. That's all I can do. I can only do my best. That's all anyone can do, right? Hmm. But yeah, it's 
It's very strange out there, isn't it, in the world at the moment? <laughs> That's why I'd rather be in my own little world, reading or writing. Which reminds me, I have got some poems to share again somewhere to make a change from health blogs. Yep. Well, that's it for now. Thank you.